Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, given the uh, response and the questions that we heard earlier um, to my colleague from uh, PowerTech, I have the impression that um, batteries are not at the top of uh, your list of uh, interests uh, here. And um, I can understand that um, you're interested in producing tools and uh, robotics and uh, all kinds of software and um, uh, techniques to solve uh, your problems. But um, finally, in the end, you need to have a power supply. And um, in most cases, as far as I can see, the, um, the solution is in a, is in a, a, a battery, uh, probably in a lithium battery. And um, the question that we heard earlier about uh, solid state uh, lithium batteries leads me to um, the first point from, uh, from uh, our side. We've been making batteries at Varta for uh, more than 130 years. And most of you probably didn't realize that 130 years ago we were even making batteries. But um, in that time, um, there's really been only four chemistries that have been in any way commercially successful. First of all, uh, lead acid, then uh, nickel cadmium, then nickel metal hydride, but uh, only briefly, and then uh, various uh, lithium technologies. And um, the issue is that um, you can develop a new chemistry to produce a, a battery. But the problem is that um, after you produce the battery, you have to characterize the battery for use in many, many different applications. And um, unfortunately, you don't know what uh, your customers propose to do with that uh, battery once, uh, once you give it to them. So you have to do a lot of testing, you have to do a lot of characterization, you have to do a lot of certification. It has to be safe, it has to be reliable, it has to be repeatable. And all of those things take um, a very long time. So when it comes to the question, when should we see solid state batteries? Of course we see solid state batteries now, but um, when will we see solid state batteries that can be really commercially available in the field is really anyone's guess, but um, the, the answer from uh, my colleague from PowerTech was five to 10 years, but actually um, I think the answer is we really don't know when, uh, when they'll be commercially available because um, we don't know how much testing, we don't know how much uh, variation there's gonna be. Anyhow, um, coming to, uh, to Varta, as I mentioned, we're 130 years in the, um, in the battery business, and um, we believe that um, if we're gonna be successful in any particular market, that we should see um, four mega trends really playing, playing into that market. And um, the first of those is co connectivity, which we definitely see in the agro-robotics world. The second is uh, miniaturization, which we, um, definitely see in the agro-robotics world. Then we come to um, um, green technology, which um, of course we definitely see in the agro-robotics world. And finally we come to demographics and the change in demographics, which again, definitely we see in the agro-robotics world. So for us, um, the agro-robotics world is following the mega trends that we follow and we fully expect that um, in five years from now, this will be a very successful marketplace. And we hope that um, Varta can provide the solutions that you need in five years time and in 10 years time. As I mentioned, we've been here for 130 years. We're a battery company. Um, I fully expect that in another 130 years, we'll be a battery company as well. When it comes to um, batteries for the applications that we see in agro-robotics. There's no doubt that uh, currently the only solution or the only viable solution um, is in some form of lithium technology. And um, as you can see, we have a very strong genetic code in lithium technology stretching back to 1990, which is 
really the advent of um, lithium technology where we were involved with, in the beginning, primary uh, technology and then moving on to secondary technology up until 2019 today where um, we're at the beginning of um, a very rapid expansion of um, lithium ion production and um, actually only this week it was announced that we have uh, Advarta achieved the um, ICPCI status from the European Union uh, which means that we'll have um, a massive investment over the next five years into the development and production of um, next generation lithium ion technology. What does it mean for you? It means that um, all of this history since 1990 where we have developed um, from coin cells to large battery packs. Actually the battery pack that you see here, um, this is coming from a, a French company called uh, Originally, Aldebaran um, it was purchased by SoftBank latterly, but this is a, a battery for um, the, the robot uh, the, uh, called Pepper, which um, we're in the process to develop the second generation of, uh, of this battery. And then you can see that uh, we advance into um, what we call coin power and also into home energy storage systems. These are systems that are used by people who have PV system on the roof and um, they need to store the energy for use uh, later or they need to store it for when they can sell it to, um, to the grid for a, a higher price. And um, maybe in your field at the moment, um, charging of the battery is not something that um, you're particularly concerned about, but I think in five years from now when we have lots of um, ro robots running around in, uh, in fields. Um, the question of how you're going to charge those robots is going to be a, is going to be a big question. And I think that um, solar is probably going to be the answer to that. And um, solar with storage is probably going to be um, the, the final solution. And um, here at Varta, we're not, able, not only able to provide you with a, a battery for um, your... Um, your robot, but we're also able to provide you with a battery and a, and a solar system that will enable you to charge your, uh, your system. So we believe that um, all of our history and all of our knowledge and all of our experience can play into the, um, the field of um, agro-robotics. But we slightly um, uh, diverge from uh, the colleagues from uh, Powertech. Our view is that um, in the beginning, with any business uh, in the, um, that requires a, a lithium-ion battery, you don't really want to make too many calculations about which kind of battery you need. You'd rather uh, have someone else worry about that. And um, here at Varta, since that's all we know about is batteries, we don't know anything about robotics or software or any kind of uh, data processing or big data or any of these kind of things. We're a battery company. And we think that um, by providing a number of um, off-the-shelf standard solutions, um, we're able to provide you in the startup phase with a good solution that fits with your needs, that doesn't involve too much investment from your side, but which um, will enable you to get going in the market, to get uh, to prove your technology. And later, when it comes to the point where you have really a mass production. Um, Varta's on hand to provide you with a, a custom design, a design that suits uh, your application specifically and um, meets your needs uh, exactly. But um, if I take you to a, an example, we recently launched together with the company Miele. It's a famous uh, German vacuum cleaner company. We launched in the IFA in Berlin um, a new stick vacuum cleaner it's a very small uh, battery, but um, just to give you an idea, the certification for this battery cost uh, somewhere in the region of uh, 800,000 euro. And um, you can uh, say for sure that um, if you want to certify a, a large battery, you know, 10 kilowatt hour or whatever you need for, um, for your uh, application, that if you want to sell that battery on a worldwide basis, 
means you want to sell it in Europe, in Asia, in, uh, in the US. The certification cost for such a battery is going to be, um, um, it's going to require that you have very deep pockets and very strong investors and a very sure case uh, from the business sense that you really have the, the solution for the market. So, we propose that um, we introduce and we have introduced a range of um, application specific batteries. You can see here on the screen that um, we have a range of uh, voltages, we have a range of uh, form factors, we have a range of capacities. Um, these batteries can all be connected um, in parallel to give you more um, capacity. At the moment, we can't connect in uh, series to give you higher voltage. Um, we um, have a maximum voltage of uh, 48 volts, but from what I can see in, uh, in your market, 48 volts is uh, probably enough to cover 90% uh, of your needs. And um, in order to make it easy for you, we've um, signed a deal with um, two of our um, distributors, RO Electronics and uh, Avnet Electronics, two European-wide, uh, actually worldwide distributors from where you can buy one piece or, or more of um, these batteries. At the moment, only the four that are highlighted are, are available, but in future, um, all of these will be available through our distribution network. So my message to you is, in the short term, we have a solution in a standard battery, and in the long term, we have the solution in a custom battery. And um, I'd like to thank you for your attendance, and uh, if you have any questions, I'd be glad to answer them. Thank you. Maybe a few questions? Come on, don't be shy. Yes. Bonjour. Uh, en dehors de la batterie, est-ce que vous faites des um, puces électroniques qui s'occupent de la gestion de la charge spécifique aux batteries Parce que je vois que vous travaillez avec AFNET comme carte électronique et uh, qui, sont, qui font pas mal d'applications. Donc je voulais savoir si vous ne faisiez que des batteries ou en plus uh, la gestion de la charge. So, I'm going to try a translation. But apart from a uh, battery, do you have like management system? Um, okay, perfect then. Peut-être d'ici. Donc, euh, votre question c'était si, à part des batteries, on fait autre chose? Non, pas vraiment pour Varta, c'est seulement la batterie et puis on euh, essaye de rester avec euh, ce qu'on euh, fait aujourd'hui et de trouver des euh, solutions particulièrement euh, sur le niveau de batterie, mais on ne fait pas vraiment autre chose. C'est ce que Gordon euh, a comme vision. Euh, il a déjà expliqué un petit peu pendant sa présentation, c'est de connecter ça en, avec les euh, photovoltaïques par hasard. Donc ça veut dire une solution entière, euh, comme une petite garage pour un robot, avec une, euh, un toit de panneaux solaires, un système energy euh, storage, et puis la, la batterie pour le robot. Mais pas vraiment des autres technologies pour les robots. 